don't slide, I'm with it. Better see me now, on God, I'm litty. I know that you're trying to go be. Better run up the cash, you love to spin. Better kill it and did it again. I'm ready and ten, no, I'm down to win. I can't feel bad about it. I know you sad about it. I know you sad about it. Okay. I know you sad about it. Okay. I just got bags from Prada. Rolling up. I'm in a brand new model. It'll be here tomorrow. I don't got fears or problems. Only got real ones round them. Only got it take a week to count it. Then I'm back up. Name the place and we back up. Running these racks up. Hundred mils a week after. Down from laughter. When they come to handles, never had one. With a bad one. Made a mill today and ain't my last one. Oh, I had to get back up. I had to get back up. All right, Coach, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State in TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. A few minutes prior to us coming on air, this crowd was jolted into action with the introduction of these Jaguars. They're set for football as the Jags are ready to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. take a shot right away and that's going to wind up incomplete however we do have a flag down let's check in with our referee so that one a hold right guard and you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play this time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. To throw is Newton. He's going to let this one go deep. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. Well, one underlying storyline between these two teams is that the Chiefs head coach, Andy Reid, he knows a lot about Nick Foles, the Jags QB. He drafted the quarterback when he was calling the shots in Philadelphia and later would sign him to Kansas City as a backup in 2016. But Kansas City, they have won the last four in this series, including a 30 to 4. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight yard line. Frank Clark. He's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. And the kicks away as he angles this one for the sideline. And where will this be spotted? The side judge says it went out just across midfield. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. A first carry now. This is Williams. He's got the first down and more inside the 40 and all the way down to the 33-yard line. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. And the first down, Chiefs. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Throwing now is Mahomes. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. That one goes for 30 yards. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zooming past that number there. Check, 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 check. Watch the twist. Watch the twist. Attack, attack. Six yards. Check six yards. 
They'll run it with Williams. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes. And oh, his first carry, he loses the football. Wow, that ball gets knocked free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and Here you go. Here you go. 59. <laughs> Newton now to throw. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Alex Okafor. Tracks him down away in the backfield for a loss of 16. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Second and 10 at the 46-yard line. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And going deep for Hill. And that is caught. One-handed. Oh, my. He pulled it in. Mahomes finding Hill for a big play. 51 yards. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cracks here. This close, sneak it. I don't think you even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. On second and goal, standing alone in the backfield is Williams. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Damian Williams with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. The extra point up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. What 
The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 20. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at about the 31, and his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. So more problems here in this first quarter. Already two scores down, and here they give away the football. And if I'm the head coach, I think it's time to start lighting a fire under some of these guys. Now, you have to do it within your personality. They can't perceive it as fake, but I'd go get after some guys because they don't look ready to play to me. They look flat, uninspired. It's time to get moving. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late, and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging. Football now. No gain on the play. Brings up third down. And the Jags, Charles, I think they're in the dime here. Covering a lot of field. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. Returnable for Grant. And just a 30-yard punt that time. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. They keep it with Fournette on first down. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him, so when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. On second down, here's Fournette. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. He needed a yard. That's what he got. And it's going to earn him a new set of downs. On first and 10, Newton. Eluding the pressure right. He'll let this go for the end zone. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. 
When teams take shots at the end zone, you got to defend it the same way you would defend the first down sticks. You defend the goal line exactly the same way. They can't cross that. You play through the receivers, and on that play, that's exactly what they did and batted it away. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Now a give right side. Grant. Second down, a little more productive than first. Seven yards on the gain. It gets him to third and three now. The Jaguars on third down. Just one for three thus far. This time it's third and three. They will run with Grant. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. Just a yard on the run there. That's going to bring us to a fourth down. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You just go quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because... And that ball is caught by D.J. Chark for the Jags touchdown. D.J. Chark there to make the grab as they are now on the board here in the first half. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. 48, 48, 19. Oh, 48, 48 for Mike. Get that quarterback, D line. Get that quarterback. Now Mahomes. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, with a dime look on defense, two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Attack, attack! Attack! Mahomes going to throw. He is going to find Hill here. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Let's go. The 21 Let's go. yards there as they convert on third. First down, Kansas City. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. At the 46-yard line. Looking to throw on second down. Mahomes. And that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Well, we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football. And you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. And this is caught by Watkins. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 
So even with the pass interference, Here it's a completed pass. They'll go ahead and just take go. the play instead. How about the effort? Making the catch despite My the yellow. pass interference. Nothing else to be gained on the play. No need to take the penalty. The play stands. Now here's Mahomes. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. Yo, Here's yo. second and 10 now from about the 32. Williams. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And he's got it all the way down to the 12-yard line. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout. He'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter. 14 to 7. Coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. Throwing on second down, Mahomes. Oh, the rookie nearly had the pick. Probably should have had it. Third down now. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. And now there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. Yeah, you could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that football. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. And I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. Butker, what a pickup he's been for Kansas City the last two years. Remember, he was drafted by Carolina to be the eventual successor to Graham Gano. That didn't pan out. Casey got him as a free agent. He's been really good. Yeah, Gano said, oh, no, I'm keeping my <laughs> job. But Butker found his home in Kansas City, a franchise record for points scored in his first two seasons. The first half update now from Philadelphia. And the Redskins there out to an early lead. That one tight to this point, and you'd have to imagine it'll stay tight throughout. Newton. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Here's Newton. And he'll get that to Fournette complete. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. A shotgun snap for Newton. And he completes it to Westbrook. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Here's Logan Cook now as he's on to punt for Jacksonville. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. The Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Yellow! 
The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. You've got under a minute to go here until halftime. You've got the good size lead. No need to do anything crazy. No, there really is no need to do anything crazy. The smart play, go ahead and take your lead into the locker room and then try to add to it in the second half. But there's a part of me that looks at this and says, first half going my way, I have a little bit of a cushion. Let's go ahead and try and extend things. If you've got some good plays drawn up, you might want to think about them right here. Looking to throw on second down. Mahomes, it's Kelsey on the ground. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. Nice job, nice patience right there. Put him on the right side, let him work his way across, put the ball in his hands and let him work his way upfield with a catch. Mahomes now just 6 of 15 through the air. Not good, but first and 10 here. Mahomes to throw once more. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Miko Hardman, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Down to 15 seconds now. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Hey, 43, 43, 15. Hey, look, 48. Look, hey, you don't like the 48 right now. Let's go. Here we go, team. Right, right. And again, it's Mahomes. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And that ball's going to angle out at the three-yard line. A beauty. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? Will they be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? I'd love to be a fly on the wall for this one, though. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Newton now to throw. And they're going to sack him again. The fifth time they've gotten him today, and this one results in a safety. So we are at halftime here in the opener of the 2019 regular season. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach and our EA Sports halftime report. All right, coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Let's go, let's do it. Why, why, 
The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Yellow. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. 43, 43, 15. Now Williams. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. Well, with Damian Williams, it's notable that the Chiefs didn't make a play to go after a big-time running back in the offseason. The coaching staff said back in May they didn't want running back by committee. They trusted Williams to be their starter. You remember last year, he was forced into the starting role the final three games of the season due to attrition, and he really excelled. And then he was excellent in the playoffs against the Colts and Patriots. Strong indicator that he was ready to be the bell cow. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. On second and 11 now, Mahomes. A big seam, and he might go all the way. And they will score. It's a Jacksonville touchdown. Now, I don't know who all is to blame there, but I love seeing pick sixes. Nothing like seeing someone pluck it out of the air and go the other way and see people try to change directions. Hard to do. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau. And this is back to a five-point game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Now Mahomes to try again after the pick six. Open man is Hill. He's got it. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Mahomes now on first down. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Miles Jack with a sack. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop it. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. First down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 45-yard line. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. 
And he'll give it here to his running back. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. They stay on the ground. This time it's Williams. Three yards on the gain. They're going to need to do better on this next play. It'll be third and 12. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. And defensively, a dime look here. Six DBs on third and 12. No surprise at all. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And he finds Seals Jones complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 29-yard line. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the ball, as we just saw there. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. They'll run it with Williams. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. They run it again with Williams. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. Back now in Jacksonville. It's the Chiefs with the lead and the football here as we get set for quarter number four. And Butker able to put this one through. And that'll push the lead up to eight. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. So that will push him back. And now we know why I have a little extra space to run, don't we? An illegal block in the back. That penalty will move them back. Ready. So the special Ready. teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Here we go. Ready. Out of the gun, Newton. Forced out to his left. Cam fighting, he lost the football, it's out, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And he has brought this one back, a fumble recovery for a Chiefs touchdown. And this is one of those bang-bang plays, Charles. Did the knee hit first or did the ball come out first? This is where you need that 20-20 eyesight, don't you, Brandon? You've got to see which one happened first. If the knee hit the ground, then they will keep possession. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have the short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it. But you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it, and that's what you don't want to do. 16 yards that time on the pickup for the Jags and a first down. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 
A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Fournette running out of the gun. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10 at the 36-yard line. Throwing on second down. Newton, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Alex Okafor able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. But nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Check 59. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Third and long, it's Newton. He wants it all for the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary it really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team that's playing excellent defense, great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone, and especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. Well, I was watching him in warm-ups, and he hit a 62-yarder that hit the crossbar and went over this one a little bit inside of that, but not enough leg. And the difference is what? Well, and your live conditions, live right? Live conditions, game conditions are a whole lot different than practice, where you just pop it up there, no rush, no pressure. I think maybe that takes a couple yards away from you. He's got it at the 15. 36 yards on the play. But we spent a lot of time exalting the offensive masterminds in this game, right? They draw up these beautiful plays. They look so perfect up on the board. But occasionally, sometimes you just say, throw it up and let him go get it. How about that play? Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. And they got three yards, that's enough. A conversion and now it's first and goal. They'll try and run, this is Williams. And he's maybe gonna get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Leads to second and goal at the Jaguars' four-yard line. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Watch the boot, 48, 48 to Mike. And to give this time to the tailback. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. They'll try to run it in. It's Williams. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. And the kick by Butker is good. And that will bump the lead up to 11. 
So barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, well, we've got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet. It can be done, but boy, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for them, isn't it? Yeah, they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck, too. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Get in the white room. Now Newton on first down. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. A good pick up there, 26 yards. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Off play action, Newton. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. It was Breland Speaks getting home to the quarterback that time. Ready? Right to the three. Throwing on third and long. Newton. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off by Bashad Breland. And they will set up shop at their own 41 yard line. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 41 yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. They're going deep for Hill. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. Here now is second and ten, again from the 41. You can't block me. 15, 15. Two, fellas, let's go. 48, come on. Watch the run, watch the run. Right side. Mahomes going to throw it here. Completes it to Hardman. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. Going to be a great season. Oh, man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. So for Kansas City, not much to complain about here. They come in and steal a victory in a tough place to play on a Sunday night. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Oakland to take on the Raiders. Meanwhile, for Jacksonville, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll look to regroup next week.